Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's nemesis. For those of y'all that are watching me on YouTube, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to make sure YouTube's algorithm picks up this content for more people that need it. Um, if y'all need a one-on-one -on -one session, y'all make sure y'all tap in. The link is in the description. I appreciate all the donations. If y'all want to donate to the channel, the link is in the description. Also, there is a scammer out there that is saying some shit about uh, text him for financial advice and some motherfucking name, Kevin. I don't know nobody named fucking Kevin, so don't send them shit. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about why you aren't healing from the narcissist. A lot of people, you aren't healing from this situation, and it takes time. But it also takes a start. You aren't healing from this situation because you aren't doing the work. And I'm always throw this in there. It's easier said than done. But if you're sitting at the house, if you're on their damn page, first of all, get your ass off of their social media. Stop looking on there. Because it ain't nothing positive that you're finna find on there. You're only finna further torment yourself. Get your ass off of their social media. Stop talking to their friends. If you got friends that keep reporting back to you what they're doing, you need to shut that shit down. And also, what you need to do is if you're dealing with a friend family member or whatever they're still talking to them knowing what they did to you you need to separate from them it's no if ands or buts i don't care how long you knew them this is a lesson that god is trying to teach you as well start cutting people off because a lot of y'all are keeping people in y'all's life that is you know they're doing you bad you know they're no good um you know they're just no good for you all the way around and you're keeping them in your life because you might have abandonment issues or you might have poor boundaries. This is where you learn to correct that shit. Get rid of these people. You should not be having, unless it's some kind of support system, you should not be sitting around with these goddamn people. And don't confuse support system with enablers. Get off of their social media. Get away from these mutual people that y'all share. And you need to have something to do. Besides sit around and think about them. Sit around and uh, talk about them. And like I said, this is normal, but to a degree. After a certain amount of time, you need to realize what this situation is and not what you want it to be. Because a lot of y'all, y'all are listening to these videos, but y'all are listening for what you want to hear. Because you want to hear a certain uh, clarity. You want to hear a certain definition. A lot of y'all, y'all think y'all have a special narc. Well, okay, well, I know what a narcissist is, but mine, no, it ain't no but mine anything. A narcissist is a narcissist. You do not have a special narcissist. Where, hey, they did this, but I don't think they're going to do that. No. Get that out of your head. Because what that's going to do is that's going to set you up for more abuse. Because you think you have a special narcissist. Do you hear me? That's going to set you up for more abuse because you think you have a special narcissist. You think your narcissist is the exception to what we're talking about. The road is going to end the same way. I understand what they did. I understand how they made you feel. But instead of trying to get the answers from them, take heed to these videos. I'm not telling you nothing that I haven't been through. All this shit that y'all are talking about, I done seen it. Some of y'all might have put up with it longer than I did, but I've seen it. And it doesn't change. I know they made you feel like this. I know they called you this. I know they, you know, said this. They lied. They gaslit you. Um, they made you feel lower than lower. 
And I, I apologize that you had to go through that. But at the same time, you need to come to a realization of what this person is. Because the thing that is going to keep you engulfed is your belief in the fantasy. You have to come to the agreement and come to the understanding with yourself. You were manipulated and it's fine. It happens. Process it. Stop, stop harboring in it and process it. Because now you have to take what happened to you isn't your fault but how you respond to it is. So now you have to take accountability, which they won't. And if you don't take accountability, you're no better than they are. Take accountability for what happened to you because they aren't. Take accountability for how you feel. Process that and understand that, hey, this person did this to me but I'm going to beat it. I'm gonna take responsibility because if you don't take responsibility for your pain, your hurt and your situation, you're no better than them because what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep running. You're gonna keep running, you're gonna keep hiding, you're gonna keep dwelling and you're gonna take that pain to somebody else who did nothing to you and you're gonna destroy them too. Now what in that makes you any better than a narcissist? The way to beat them is to do the shit that they can't do. They don't take accountability. You can. They won't go to therapy. You can. They can't truly be happy. You can. They don't learn from their mistakes. You can. They don't go off and live happily ever after. You can. But the thing is, what it's going to take to get to that point is work. So a lot of y'all are worried about another relationship. Fuck another relationship. If you ain't been single at least six months after this, don't, you ain't even need to be entertaining nobody. You better go get you a rose or something. Fellas, you know what's up. But you need to take time to heal. You need to take time to do the work. If you think back before you got with this narcissist, if you were in a relationship right before you got with them, you damn sure need to heal. Because this is here to teach you certain things about yourself that you've been avoiding. Stop jumping from relationship to relationship to relationship. You're not doing nothing but taking bullshit from here to there. Stay by yourself for a minute. A lot of people don't want to stay by themselves because they have to deal with themselves. They don't want to deal with themselves. They'd rather deal with other people. Narcissists do that. Codependents do that. Break out of that shit. Go take your ass to therapy. It's okay to go. I go to therapy. Especially in the black community, we don't believe in therapy. You better start. Break that generational shit of, oh, toughen up. Oh, deal with this, deal with that. Yeah, you do need to toughen up or whatever, and you, you need to become solid in some aspects, but going to therapy does not make you weak. Because I know in our culture, we look at that shit as a weakness. No. That makes you strong because you're facing shit that nobody in your family has decided to face. That's why the shit is hard. It's a lot of people walking around here broken because they're scared to fix themselves. When you got to do the work, yo, it's scary. And it ain't going to be fucking easy because it ain't been easy for me. I'm still healing. I'm still fixing. But guess what? I started. You need to start. Take a look in that mirror. Write down some shit about yourself that you know is broken. Work on that for the next year. Don't worry about no damn relationship. Because I guarantee you, if you jump into another relationship, that shit gonna fail too. And it's either gonna be your fault or theirs. And it might be more your fault this time because you're taking that shit with the narcissist and you're bringing it somewhere else. Now you're narcissistic because you're taking your narcissistic fleas over to another situation. Don't do that. It can be done. But this situation is gonna make or break the rest of your life. Especially for my younger folks. I'm 32. 
especially for my younger folks. This is going to make or break the rest of your life, really with anybody, but especially for the ones that are younger, because this is going to determine how you deal with people and how you deal with yourself for the rest of your life. Nip it in the bud now before you carry that shit for generations and destroy another generation. It ends with you. It begins with you. Go to therapy. Pick up that new hobby. Meditate. Go to church if that's what you do. But you have to look past the fantasy. Because if you don't, you're going to be stuck in it forever. And in that way, the narcissist still wins. Because you become so much like them that you can't even recognize it. Don't become them. Overcome them. That's my video today. My mouth hurt, so I'm going to let y'all go. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe uh, so the YouTube algorithm can pick this up. If y'all need a session, link is in the description. Y'all want to donate to the channel, link is in the description. Watch out for that motherfucking scammer. Uh, thank you for all my uh, subscribers. All the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Still healing up. I thank y'all for the prayers and well wishes. We're going to get back right. Uh, I just dropped a new song called Superstition. It does feature an actual Hoover attempt from my ex-narcissist. So uh, it's on all platforms, Terrell Andretti, Superstition. I'm on every platform. Y'all check it out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I put my heart and soul to, into it. I think I lost my voice in the studio singing that shit. So I greatly appreciate you if y'all tap in with that. But until next time, another day, another way. You ain't got to listen. But I know you heard me. Holla.